friends welcome to my workplace at Ranakhat West Bengal India this is an almost mature cataract I say almost because I could see the optic nerve head and macula very faintly with indirect ophthalmoscope media was hazy but still I could make out that there is a white scar over the macula so in such cases we expect only peripheral vision we tell the patient about the prognosis that central vision will not be there and the patient knows about it so that in the post-operative period we don't face lot of questions having explained the prognosis I have taken up this case for surgery by this time all the incisions have been made and the capsule has been stained with trypan blue dye and now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is going to be used as the viscoelastic substance so this is 2% SPMC filling off the anterior chamber and it is applied over the cornea for better visibility and for epithelial protection now rexis the anti-capsule is torn by the uterita forceps and the capsular tag is raised the tag is held with the uterita and now remaining at a certain distance away from the margin of the dilated pupil an adequate size to rexis is being done at 3 o'clock see what happens it tends to go to periphery so here very in a very controlled way the rexis was brought on track so we have got a D-shaped rexis but it is of adequate size all the time the rexis need not be circular when with this type of rexis the intraocular lens will be nicely centered because the haptics are in the equator and now this core is again injected hydro dissection done and now the tip of the phaco needle is being introduced into the anterior chamber the machine being used is Oatly Cataract 3 no financial interest just to inform you and some superficial lens matter is aspirated now with the help of the left hand the handpiece is turned bevel of the phaco needle is up towards the cornea now and here is the direct job by submarine technique the phaco teeth travels through the substance of the nucleus reaches near the opposite equator and the nucleus is chopped on 80 degree rotation and the nuclear nucleus has been divided completely into two heminuclei each heminucleus is then chopped into two smaller fragments this is a hard cataract nucleus sclerosis is about grade 4 little brownish tinge can be seen in the nucleus and now we can see the white reflex sometimes white reflex when, when the eyeball tilts we see occasionally a red reflex the microscope is top cone 
M800. It's a good microscope, but it doesn't have the stereo coaxial system like Lumera I, so we don't get a very good red glow. But whatever glue is obtained is okay for cataract surgery. And now cortical cleanup is to be done. By the time my assistant gets ready with bimanual irrigation aspiration, I am using this 23G Simco for cleaning the cortex which is located inferiorly say from 3 o'clock to 9 o'clock cortex from this area can be easily aspirated without going through small side ports. And now I take, I take the bimanual irrigation aspiration. The irrigation goes through the right side port aspiration through the left and the cortex from 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock is removed. This is the cortex from 12 o'clock. This is cortex from 1 o'clock. So most of the cortex located superiorly has been removed. Only a speck of cortex just beneath the left side board is still there and here it is removed. But there are some cells sticking to the posterior capsule. If you want to do a meticulous job, must dislodge the cells and then use the bimanual irrigation aspiration again to remove these lens fibers. I'm just using the fluid jet to dislodge the cells. And now irrigation goes through the right side port aspiration from the left and the loose lens fibers are now aspirated. There's a small speck of lens matter just under the left side port, uh, here it is, it is removed. So this has been a very meticulous job and now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. In this case I am going to use a whiteboard B cartridge so enlarge the main wound to about 3 millimeter and now in this case the patient being from a poor socio-economic background and since the eye is having a poor visual prognosis we didn't insist on a hydrophobic intraocular lens in this case which is costlier for these patients so a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens has been selected for this eye and here it is the lens is going to be implanted in the capsular bag now this is called hydro implantation where the anterior chamber is kept formed by the irrigation so the irrigation goes first the anterior chamber is nicely formed and then the lens is delivered in the the leading haptic has already gone into the capsular bag and just by a push of the left hand irrigating probe the trailing haptic also goes into the capsular bag the lens is dialed by the irrigating probe and this is irrigation of the capsular bag there is not much of visco so we don't have to spend a lot of time to clean visco in this case and now this is a bit of moxifloxacin and now the two side ports are closed hydrating corneal stroma on either side of these step wounds. It is done and now the case is done. Before we conclude the case this is 
a final lavage of the anterior chamber so that pure BSS remains at the conclusion of the surgery. There's a little bit of cortex at 6 o'clock which was removed at this time. At this time the eye got out of focus, sorry for that. The interchamber is nicely formed, the IOP is kept on the higher side of the normal. The integrity of the wounds are checked. This is a totally unedited recording and you have not missed anything. So here we conclude the surgery. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon in such cases. Always tell the truth. If you can see a macular scar, always tell the patient that you will get only central, you will get only peripheral vision and central vision will not be there but the peripheral vision is very useful for moving around so we must convince the patient for surgery telling the truth and not by any other means